And we are underway. Providence Park on Sunday was packed with Timbers fame. But at least one seat was empty. It belonged to Victoria Cummings. She sat this match out, worried about the Delta variant. We yell, we scream, we chant, we sing. We're very vocal when we're there. So there's a lot of particles flying around in the air and some of them are going to be filled with that variant. Perhaps concerns like this one can explain the new safety measures the Timbers and Thorns announced Tuesday. Beginning with the Thorns home match on August 25th, Fans 12 and older will be required to show proof of vaccination to get through the gates. It's been something we've been thinking about for a while. We, we, we we're proud to be leaders in the space. We were the first MLS and NWSL team to begin requiring uh, proof of vaccine. We're proud of that. Timbers and Thorns president of business, Mike Golub, says fans who can't provide proof of vaccination can still get into Providence Park if they show they've tested negative for COVID within 48 hours of kickoff. So we're not required to do what we announced today to do, but we felt it was the right thing to do. We wanted to be on the, uh, on the vanguard of this, and we wanted to, to you know, be responsive to, again, the great majority of our fans. In addition to these new safety protocols, Golub says fans five and older can still expect to wear masks in all areas of the stadium other than their seats, where masks are optional but recommended. We have, from the start, encouraged people to wear masks even prior to the mask mandate, we continue to encourage that. That's not strict enough if you ask Victoria Cummings. She'd like to see masks required throughout Providence Park. It seems to me with the rapid increase in cases that we're seeing every day in the hospital, that it's time for us to be responsible as citizens and adults to start wearing our masks again to take care of one another. Back to the proof of vaccination or negative COVID test. The Timbers and Thorns aren't the first professional sports teams to announce these requirements. The Las Vegas Raiders and New Orleans Saints will be expecting the same of their fans, and only time will tell if others follow. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.